Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Reti and Capablanca. This very beautiful chess game was played in Berlin in 1928. Richard Reti had white pieces and he started with e4. Capablanca played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and Reti played bishop to b5, Spanish opening. d6, c3 preparing d4, a6 attacking the bishop, bishop to a4, and now very interesting move. Not knight to f6, but f5. d4, f takes on e4, knight to g5, Another very interesting try is knight takes on e5, and after pawn takes knight, queen to h5 check, king to e7, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, bishop to g5 check, knight to f6, d takes on e5, queen to d5, bishop to h4. Who is better? White or black? Let's go back to our game. In the game we have knight to g5, e takes on d4, knight takes pawn on e4, knight to f6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, bishop to e7 and pinning, queen takes on d4, b5 attacking the bishop, knight takes on f6 check, pawn takes knight, Queen to d5, threatening queen takes knight, pawn takes bishop, bishop to h6, threatening bishop to g7, well if queen takes on c6 then bishop to d7 and after queen to f3, f takes on g5 and black is better. So we have bishop to h6, queen to d7, defending the knight, making the room for the king to come to d8, in case of check. Perhaps even intending castling after bishop to b7. Reti castled kingside, bishop to b7, bishop to g7 attacking the rook. What is the best square for the rook? What would you do if you had black pieces? Well, for the purpose of our exercise, let's call this the critical position of the game. Please pause the video and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Capablanca castle the queen side. Very cool move and the best one. Bishop takes rook, black to move and to play the obvious move. The obvious is Capablanca played knight to e5, discovered attack on white lady. Perhaps Reti expected rook takes bishop. We have knight to e5, attacking the queen, queen to d1, and now the obvious, what is the obvious now? Capablanca played a very interesting move, please pause the video and try to guess the move that Capablanca played. Did you pause, what did you find? Did you guess this move? If you did, <laughs> this is not what Capablanca played. Capablanca played a killer move. Bishop to f3. Pawn takes bishop. What if pawn doesn't take bishop? If 
queen to e1, then queen to h3, threatening a checkmate. Pawn takes queen, rook to g8 check, bishop to g7, rook takes bishop, check, mate. So in the game, Reti captured the bishop. Black to move. Black play the move when white resigned. The move is Queen to h3, Reti resigned. Black rook is coming to g8. If queen to d5 preventing rook to g8, then c6 and white queen can't stay on the long diagonal to prevent rook to g8. That is why Richard Retty resigned in this position. And let's go back to this critical position of the game. This is the position. Did you guess Capablanca's call move? And what about move 17? Did you find the killer move of bishop to f3? If you found both of these moves, you're doing very well. Congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.